Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. I hope everyone is doing great. I am sending my love and positive energy to everyone out there. Today, I will be sharing my delicious recipe for some quick, easy, simple cheese roll. Yeah, yeah, look at that cheese bowl. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know this is going to be lit, right? Yes. It's very crispy on the outside, soft and gooey and chewy on the inside. Everything you want in the perfect bite of cheese roll. So let's get prepping, guys. Let's prepare this delicious cheese roll. Here are delicious cheese roll. We're using the food processor, less messy on our hands, you know, easy way out. I have tons of recipes showing you how to do it, you know, with your fingers, work it with your fingers, but hey, I'm feeling a little bit down the weather, but I'm still in the kitchen cooking, so I'm showing you guys the food processor faster. And voila! Today I'm making this pastry dough with this golden ray, guys. It's busting, okay? After you try this, like, you're gonna use golden ray to make all your pastry dough. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Rich, delicious golden ray. Golden ray. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a knife, cube this up, and dump it in the flour. Our golden ray is in there. I have here some ice cold water. It has ice in it, ice cube. I am going to go ahead and add about a half a teaspoon of white vinegar here. And of course, I am going to start pulsing this, and then we're going to add the water. So I'm gonna begin, begin that step. This is the texture you're looking for, like sand at the beach. You pick it up and you compact it and you're seeing it's compacting nice. Perfect texture, that's what you're looking for. We achieve that nice texture in our flour with the butter and the flour mixed in. I'm going to go ahead and gradually add water and pulse this until it becomes, you know, a nice dough. You're going to see it starting to form the dough. You can't add too much water, you know, you can't take it out. So gradually add the water. And I'm going to begin that process here. And it still needs more water. You can see it's not coming together. see it started to clump up and that's a great indication the dough is coming together and it's perfect consistency and that's all she wrote there i'm gonna transfer this into a bowl so you can see what it looks like so this is what the dough is looking like as you can see it's nice and firm and it's coming together perfectly that's what you want so what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm not gonna mess with this dough you know further like play with it with my fingers I'm just going to compact it like this. Mm, and it smells so rich and buttery. Oh my goodness. Do you see how clean it's picking up everything? You know you have the perfect consistency when it's like this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab my cling wrap. Or plastic wrap or whatever you call it. Me and this thing always must fight by. Like what the hell. <laughs> so I'm going to add put my dough here to my cling wrap and wrap her up. You know what, should I parcel it out in two? I think I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna cut it in two. Easier when you're gonna work with it. Parcel off my dough in the cling wrap. Pop it in the refrigerator until I am ready for it. And that's it, that's it guys. That's it, our dough is ready. Now we're gonna go ahead Pop it in the refrigerator for a good 30 minutes or so. And then we're going to start prepare our cheese filling. Or if you want to do pine tart, prepare your jam. You know, whatever. But beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and prepare our cheese mixture. And I'm using the food processor to do this. Yes, everything is quick, easy, and simple. 
I'm gonna go in with four flakes of garlic or four cloves of garlic, three ru -ru -ru pepper. You can adjust the sp spice here to your taste and liking. You can use less or more. That depends on your you know taste bud. I am going to go ahead and pulse this. You know, grind it up really, really thin. Um, we're gonna also be using some sofrito. Um, this is quite delicious. I got this from my local Puerto Rican store. If you never tried it, I highly recommend you give it a try. Now that I have my garlic and pepper all chopped up, I'm going to go in with a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, you know, and you want to pulse this until it breaks down, um, not too, too break down, you know, a nice consistency. I'll show you that consistency. So I'm going to be using some Gouda cheese here too, along with the cheddar cheese, and I'm using about a cup and a half of the shredder, shredded Gouda cheese. I'm going to pulse this and mix it in with the cheddar cheese. You know, I want to mix everything in, have everything blend in and work nice together. I'm going to go in with some yellow mustard and I'm using about a one and a half teaspoon of yellow mustard here. You just squeeze it in. And now I am going to proceed to add our sofrito and I'm going to add one tablespoon of sofrito here. And I'm going to pulse everything and blend everything nicely like together. So we're going to start to proceed to roll out our dough and fill them. This is what our dough is looking like. Um, I square it off because I'm going to show you a faster way to roll out your cheese roll and get this finish up quickly. We're not going to do it individually. We're going to just roll it out all at once. And you're just rolling this into a square, rectangle, square, something of the sort. So that's why I shaped the dough in a square um you know shape so it's going to be easier to roll out that way but if you don't roll it out square it's okay we can always cut it up and as you can see the dough um, do not need any flour it's working nicely it's not sticking or anything of the sort so we have the perfect consistency So I'm going to keep working this until I achieve the shape I'm looking for. Now that I have achieved the shape I'm looking for, it's more of a rectangle, not a square. If you get a square, that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese mixture to it. And this idea is like if, you know, you're making ravioli in the sense, why not speed up the process in the kitchen rather than stand here and do it one by one? You know, you speed up the process very quickly. So I usually spread it out a little bit. And from this here, I'm going to get six or maybe seven with a little excess dough. And as you can see, I pat it down. So now time to roll. So you're going to just pick up and you're going to bring it over. Like if you're rolling cheese roll and you just want to pat everything down as you're rolling. And then you're going to give it one more roll over and that's it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pizza cutter and I'm gonna cut straight along the line. Make sure not to cut the top. Just, you know, rest it to the side and guide it along. And that's it. This other piece, we're going to use it. I'm just gonna move it to the side. That is going to be used to make three more. But this is what our cheese roll is looking like now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and press on this dough, you know, spread out the cheese nice inside. And you can feel where it's going, you know, where the cheese stop. And then I'm gonna proceed to cut it. I cut off the little excess at the end. Then I'm gonna go and feel, and I'm gonna go cut, you see? I didn't cut the, the cheese or anything. Nice, sealed, straight cut. I'm gonna go there again, and I'm gonna cut off that little excess at the end because, you know, I can roll that back into the dough. Now this is nice and sealed. This is what it's looking like at the bottom. Nice and sealed, I'm gonna press on it. Make sure our cheese is nice and distributed and this is gonna seal the bottom off. Listen, you can measure this if you're looking for perfection in it. I'm just trimming the ends so it looks nice and neat. Now I'm gonna go in with my fork and I'm gonna start sealing the ends. You know, crimping the ends seal it off and then we're gonna put three hole at the top 
this is to like vent some steam out of the cheese roll it's really nice whole poke it up and top and you want to make sure you know you can even go in with the fork and seal the bottom but it's, it shouldn't um you know spill out but anyways with cheese roll you do have some spillage sometimes but this is what it's looking like nice and perfect i'm gonna transfer this to my baking sheet i'm gonna go ahead and work with this other one finish it up i'm just making sure we don't have too much extra dough on the side at the ends and you want to press on it steal it off you can go ahead and crimp the bottom a little bit some people put egg wash to seal it off i never really use the egg wash you know to seal this when i do it this way cheese roll number two and i'm gonna finish this one up here i have two egg yolk not the um white just the yolk and i add a splash of milk about a tablespoon or so of milk and i'm gonna start to put some on top of these beautiful cheese roll i see how nice them look and it's quick and easy so i'm gonna go ahead and paint the tops of them so this is me painting the top of them you know brushing them with the egg wash i'm like picasso here trying to be as accurate as possible and this cheese roll already have a rich beautiful um you know golden color from the butter the golden ray i have my oven preheating 350 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna pop these in and bake them off you know anyway from um 30 to 35 minutes or until they achieve a beautiful nice golden brown color so see you guys back with some yummy cheese roll here you have it our finished cheese roll and this is what they're looking like beautifully done look at that perfectly sealed in some of them burst like it had like one of them a couple of them that seep out cheese but nothing you know too horrible and we have a taste tester <laughs> go ahead she's gonna go ahead and taste this cheese roll break into it okay. it's still a little warm break this way so we can see when you break it mm. Ooh, all that cheesy goodness look at that look at all that cheese mm. are you drooling at tiana you can see the pepper flakes and stuff in there yes, go I ahead can. Mm-hmm. Nice mm. and warm. I'm sorry, but I heard it go for a second. Hi. <laughs> it's so crispy and juicy. Crispy and juicy? Mm -hmm. Perfect, right? Let's see it. Let's see it inside. Look at that, guys. It's filled with cheese. Look at that. Beautiful. So what are your thoughts on it? Delicious? Thumbs up? More than delicious. I know how to so here you it. have it, guys. Our delicious cheese roll. I hope you guys try this recipe. Leave a comment below if you like the new technique of rolling the cheese roll. Let us know your thoughts. Sending you our love, thanks, and gratitude. Have a great, great evening.